Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about iCloud and more specifically, I'm gonna show you how to cancel your iCloud account from billing any further. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, if you're not familiar with iCloud, basically all it is is Apple's version of the cloud storage. So you can store documents, photos, you can back up your iPhone easily into the iCloud. And Apple includes five gigabytes for free that you don't need to pay for. But if you're like me, you've already upgraded, so you're paying for additional storage through the iCloud. But how do you cancel the billing on your iCloud? That's what we're gonna talk about. So. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video, guys. Really quick process, not a lot of steps involved with this. And it's all gonna be handled here through the iPhone app for settings, which is this gray gear wheel looking thing. I'm gonna click there now. All right, once you click there, you're gonna go ahead and pull up the settings dropdown menu. Don't worry about these other settings. All of this is gonna happen here on your name and the top line. It's probably gonna have maybe your profile picture, maybe a real photo. It doesn't really matter. You wanna click there to get to your Apple ID here at the top of the settings menu. I'm gonna click there now. All right, once you click there, then it's going to pull up this Apple ID menu where you can make a lot of different changes with your Apple ID. But if you wanna go ahead and cancel your iCloud subscription, you wanna click here on iCloud. It's this one that has a little blue cloud next to it. I'm gonna click there now. All right, next to the iCloud, Drop down menu happens and you get a lot of different options here. But if you wanna go ahead and cancel your iCloud subscription, you wanna click on this line right here called Manage Storage. I'm gonna click there now. Okay, once you click there, you get a lot of different options. It's gonna show what's using what inside of your iCloud storage. But to cancel your iCloud storage plan, you wanna click on this line right here called Change Storage Plan. As you can see, I have 50 gigabytes. Let me click there now. All right, I went ahead and clicked there and then you're gonna get this upgrade iCloud storage options. The thing is with iCloud, they don't make it easy to right off the back see how to cancel your iCloud storage account. You only see the upgrade options right here. But if you wanna go ahead and cancel your iCloud storage account, you wanna click right here on downgrade options. I'm gonna click there now. All right, now here we are on the screen where you can cancel your iCloud storage subscription. So you can see I'm here at 99 cents per month for 50 gigabytes. But if I wanna cancel that, I'm gonna choose the free downgrade to five gigabytes. Let me click there now. All right, once you've chosen the downgrade, you wanna go ahead and click done. I'm gonna click there now. All right, so I've already paid up until June 5th. So that 50 gigabytes is going to be available through the remainder of that period. So if it's 30 days, or if you chose to cancel your iCloud storage closer towards the subscription date, whenever this says renews, it's going to go until that date. After that date, then it will cancel. It's also letting me know that if you have more than the five gigabytes, then you're going to need to delete some of the data from your iCloud drive before you can downgrade on the effective date. If all of that looks good, go ahead and click downgrade. I'm gonna click there now. All right, once you click there, then this screen pops up for your iCloud storage. And as you can see right here, it says my subscription for the iCloud storage upgrade will expire on June 5th before it said that it would renew on June 5th. So after this date, then my iCloud storage subscription will cancel and it'll go to the free version. So there you have it. That is how you can cancel your iCloud storage account from billing each month on a subscription fee. If you know an easier way to cancel your iCloud storage subscription, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. But hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.